Paula Santos. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? Do you know who Tink is? Sure. Tink Obermeyer operates the carousel. Real protective of it. When it was vandalized, it almost broke his heart. Loves the band organ, too. Right now, he's up in Canada fishing. There's this locked door in the haunted house that I'd really like to open. Would you by any chance know where the key is? I have no idea. You really shouldn't go in there unless it's absolutely necessary. Parts of that building are very old, almost rickety. You need to be very careful. I'll be in touch. Call me anytime. Louis G. Wonder who that is. Best way to find out is to call him. It looks like Harlan's been spying on Ingrid. I better put this back where I found it. Captain's Cove Police Station. Detective Paris, please. Hang on. Hi, Nancy. Nothing new at this end. What have you got? How much do you know about Daryl Trent? You know, the guy who used to be the co-owner of Captain's Cove, Paula's former business partner? I met him a couple of times. Real friendly guy. Young at heart. More of a kid than most kids. I kind of think that's what killed him, you know? His body just got too old for his soul. Did you ever meet his daughter? I didn't even know she existed until Paula mentioned she'd hired her. Thanks, Detective. You've been a big help. Hey, say hi to Paula for me. State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said, State Board of Parole, Louis Guerra's office. Is Mr. Guerra a parole officer? That's correct. But he's out of the office right now. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, please. Would you have him call Nancy Drew? Concerning? Harlan Bishop. I believe he's a client of Mr. Guerra's. Is Harlan up to something he shouldn't be? I didn't say that. But when was he paroled? Do you know? You're going to have to wait and ask Mr. Guerra that question. What was the name? Nancy Drew. My number is 523-555-4399. That's my cell phone. He can call me anytime. I'll let him know. Thank you. It's locked.
Call L.H. about results. L.H. Lance Huffington, maybe? Wow, that's one expensive watch. Hello? Hi, it's Paula. Just thought I'd check in, see how you're doing. Actually, I'm kind of glad you called. Why? What's going on? I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. How long have you known? It was the first thing out of his mouth when he applied for the job. He said being an outstanding security guard would prove to everyone once and for all that he's gone straight. I also found out that he used a security camera to get the code to Ingrid's work area, and he fits the description of the jewel thief cellmate that Detective Paris gave me. Oh, now that's disturbing. But I'm still going to give Harlan the benefit of the doubt until I have good reason not to. I appreciate your bringing this to my attention, though. All right. Goodbye, Paula. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I found this strange hidden door in the haunted house. Problem is, it's locked. Do you have any idea what's behind it? Ask Joy. That nutty professor father of hers always had these little secret projects going in the park, even after he sold his interest. Miss Santos didn't have the heart to boot him out. I'll let you get back to work. Keep it real. The take-up dowel is broken. Talk to me. Yes, hi. Um, is this Lance Huffington? You betcha. Who's this? Well, I'm Nancy Drew. I work with Ingrid Corey. I'm kind of her unofficial assistant here at the park. She tells me everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was wondering if she'd called you yet. You know, about the results? Yeah, she called me. So, is everything okay? Everything's great. Her plan worked. I'm glad she shared it with me. Life's good. <laughs> At least it will be when the trial's over and the settlement's in the bank. Whoa, speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm due in court. What'd you say your name was? Uh, Nancy. Well, Nancy, next time you call me, you could very well be talking to a multimillionaire. Ta-ta. Bye. Hello? 
This is Luis Guerra with the State Board of Parole. I understand you have some questions concerning Harlan Bishop. Right. Hi. Uh, yes, for starters, could you tell me what prison he was in? He served 30 months in Bayside State Prison for check kiting and forgery. He was paroled five weeks ago. Was he ever at New Jersey State Prison? No, ma'am. Have you seen him since he's been paroled? He comes to my office once a week. As far as I know, Harlan is a security guard at Captain's Cove Amusement Park. Now, do all these questions mean you know something about him that I don't? Actually, maybe I do. Oh? What? You failed to mention that he's one of the nicest guys you'd ever want to meet. Very true. Well, I hope I've been of some assistance. Oh, you have. You've been a big help. Thank you. Good day, then. Bye. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I need to make a dowel to replace this broken one from the band organ. Would it be all right if I used your equipment? I won't make a mess. I promise. Sure. Got a lathe, wooden rods, safety goggles. Knock yourself out. I gotta go run an errand, though, so try not to cut off any appendages until I get back. Wow, a lathe. That's a poppy dada. Hmm, if Elliot wrote this guy's number down, maybe I should too. Those look like horse tails. It's all fun and games until somebody loses an eye. That looks perfect. Better leave these goggles here.
This is where the air comes out. This is where the air comes out. I know there's air coming out of each pipe. If I could just see the air, I could figure out the sequence of notes. The fan. Sukov. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the Collector's Hot Sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I wondered if you could answer a question or two for me. I'd be delighted. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did, and I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Are any of Kessler's other carousels thought to be haunted? No, the one at Captain's Cove is a first. But I think I know what's going on. Someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The Internet comes in very handy in such matters. Thanks for all the info. Always happy to share my mental wealth. Will Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? She called you? Of course she called. She hired me because she thought I deserved a second chance. She wanted to make sure I hadn't betrayed her trust, which I hadn't, by the way. I know. I tried to call Miss Santos to set the record straight, but I couldn't get through. I guess she was talking to you. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. 
A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry code should be off limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous, too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? Hey, Nancy, what's up? I found an old letter in the gear room of the carousel. It was written by the guy who carved all the horses, Rolf Kessler. Is it okay if I keep it? Far as I'm concerned. I'll mention it to Miss Santos, see what she says. I seem to have used up all the fun on my fun pass. Did you say I could get another one? I certainly did. Here you go. Enjoy. Kessler used to have a workshop under what's now the haunted house. Had you ever been down there? I didn't even know there was a down there there. I heard strange noises the last time I was in there. They seemed to be coming from below. Have you ever heard anything weird in there? Everything I hear in there is weird. I mean, it's a haunted house, right? I'll see you around. Have fun. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune, and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Suck it to me. Hooray! I remember that song. I did ride the carousel. Over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You loved the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse, and it was not spectacular. But you loved it, Joy. What was its name? <sighs> I can't remember. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? Then I know the name. Glory. Glory. That's right. Glory. My mother gave him to me for my birthday. My fourth birthday. She died in a car accident that very night. How awful. No wonder you forgot how much you love the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the Magnificent Memory Machine! You would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number ten. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Tink's the guy who runs the carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize.
Maybe these stairs go down to Kessler's workshop. What was that? Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Here's your pliers. I found them in the haunted house behind that hidden door, which led to a booby trap. I told you mine were missing. Maybe somebody found them and left them by that door on purpose, I don't know. But they prove nothing, I do know that. There's a dummy in the haunted house that's been red-tagged. It's missing an arm. Any chance it'll be up and running again in the near future? Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. That's one of the dummies Joy Trent's father created. Probably why the circuitry is so bizarre. It works, though, so just reattach it. You'll need pliers. Oh, and don't forget to take the red tag back to Spy Master Bishop. Thanks for your help. Remember, niacin. That looks tight enough. It's been red tagged. Hey Nancy, what's up? Could you please turn the juice back on to the dummy in the haunted house that Ingrid was fixing? Here's the tag. You've really got the system down, don't you? I'll just flip the switch and you'll be good to go. I'll see you around. Have fun. Paula Santos. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? I understand Joy's father used to come and go as he pleased even after he sold you his interest in Captain's Cove. I didn't see any harm. He loved to putter, especially in the haunted house. Wonderful imagination, but when it came to dealing with reality, barely knew where to begin. I'll be in touch. I'll be waiting. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's only me. Oh, hi, Nance. Listen to you. You're probably making Nancy feel terrible. Maybe I should answer the phone from now on. You wouldn't dare. It's okay, guys. I understand. I'm sorry, Nancy. As you may have guessed, Matt hasn't called yet, and he is just so, so cute. cute. Anyway, what's up? There was a brochure for a sports car in Ingrid's work area, the Pandora 2XS. That is like the hottest car ever. One of the most expensive, that's for sure. She must make a ton of money. Either that or she's about to come into a ton of money. Hmm, the engine oil thickens. It turns out Joy was responsible for causing that accident that shut down the park. How do you know? She confessed. Her father was right. Dredging up all those memories was good for her. She's apologizing to Paula even as we speak. What about the carousel? Was she responsible for all that haunting stuff, too? I don't think so. I think she sincerely believed that Ms. Santos was behind it, so she caused the roller coaster accident to teach her a lesson. At least you don't have to worry about the roller coaster anymore. Yeah, now you can really check out the rest of the park. You're making progress, Nan. Just hang in there. Turns out Ingrid was calling Lance Huffington to share a remedy for neck pain with him. Or so she says. 
She's also been making money on the side by helping someone design a roller coaster. Or so she says. I agree with Beth. Don't go erasing her from your suspect list just yet, Nan. Thanks to that info on stenography you guys sent me, I was able to figure out the name of the carousel horse that Joy's mother bought her. Joy's mother bought her a carousel horse? That's what was in the note I found. It was a memo about the sale. The horse had a name? Kessler liked to name the horses he carved. This one's name was Glory. What happened to it? I have the feeling I'll find out when I solve the final riddle Miles gave us. My mother never bought me a carousel horse. Catch you guys later. Be careful. Good luck. That must be glory. Uh, these stairs sure don't feel very safe. Oh my gosh, these must be jewels from that jewel heist. I should probably take these with me. A letter. Joy's father must have left it for her. My dearest Joy, I hope Miles and his riddles have helped you remember how much you adored this horse and how dearly you loved the woman who gave it to you. I found this picture of her years ago, but I didn't want to give it to you until I knew you were ready. She loved you more than anything, Joy. We both did. Dad. P.S. If you want to see where Glory was carved, look for Kessler's symbol on the wall. I could never spend a lot of time in there. Very strange vibes. That must be Joy's mother. She was beautiful. So much for the stairs. So this was Kessler's workshop. I'll bet that's the carousel horse that was stolen. Somebody's been making reproductions, or should I say forgeries? Nancy, Nancy, Nancy. What have you done? It's what you've done. You stole the horse, you fabricated the whole haunted carousel thing to increase its value, and now you're making not just one forgery, but several. You think? You let everyone believe you were just a hopeless procrastinator. But this is the real reason you're behind in your work, isn't it? Right on all counts. Unfortunately, you're not going to get to tell anyone else. Ever. No, wait. Look what I have. They're diamonds. Real diamonds. Someone stole them 23 years ago and stashed them in the park. Well, well, little icing on the cake. That's right. You want them? Here. Ouch! Hey! I've got to get out of here.
I'm trapped. I've got to get out of here. I've got you, Nancy. You're cornered. You might as well give up. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to call the police, Elliot. So don't bother making plans for tonight. <laughs> or the next ten years. Dear Ned, after trapping Elliot, I managed to pry the exit open and had Harlan call the police. Elliot admitted to stealing the carousel horse and planning the remote control device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. Needless to say, he's gone back to not liking me. Harlan, on the other hand, adores me now, because not only did he share the credit for busting Elliot, but his sudden fame brought him three job offers. He's staying on at Captain's Cove out of loyalty to Paula, but he's happy knowing that being an ex-con will probably never be an issue for him again. As for Ingrid, she promptly attributed Elliot's bad behavior to a deficiency in some mineral I couldn't pronounce. And Joy, when I gave her the picture of her mother, she started smiling and has yet to stop. Inventing Miles was the best thing her late father could have done for her. In fact, when I went to the park to say goodbye just now, she wasn't in her office. She was riding the carousel. Ever yours, Nancy.